Hi, I'm Christy from GovGirl.com and I have too many cell phones. And I want to chat with you today about what you can do with all those old cell phones you have around the house and how you can uh, make good use out of them even though you're not using them anymore. So I found these cell phones all around my house in random drawers. I really only use one of them. I use my HTC Evo phone that I take with me everywhere and I love it. Uh, but then I have all these other phones. Um, let me know in the comments below how many phones you have and uh, how many you're actually using and why, why don't we throw these away? I don't know, I guess we figure that they're so, they were so expensive at the time and you don't know who to give them to, you don't know what to do with them. So they just sort of collect dust around the house. I've got my trusty flip phone. This one's actually a dumb phone. It does not actually get on the internet. I have a random phone that I sent my mom so she could use, but uh, she doesn't get reception there. I've got my, you know, you should always have a backup phone in my opinion. So this is my Palm Trio that uh, I can always use in case that my current phone messes up. I bring it into the, to the store and they can quickly uh, get me set up on my old backup phone. So I think I will put that one aside because I'm going to keep that Oh, and I love my little flip out pink phone. You see the trend of pulling out the, uh, the, the keyboard on the side. I think I have fat fingers or something. I'm not really good at touching the screen. You notice that I have two palm prees. Why do I have two of them? Well, they kept breaking. There's probably another one out there somewhere. Sorry, um, palm pre people. But anyway, so what can you do with all these cell phones? Well, uh, some governments run a program uh, like the city of Reno. The attorney's office runs a program in conjunction with other government agencies where they actually provide these functional cell phones to uh, victims of domestic violence um, because the cell phones, even though they don't have a plan hooked up to them, there isn't a monthly plan or, plan or play as, pay as you go or anything like that, uh, if they're fully charged up, they can still dial 911. And that's helpful and it's also, uh, it, it works for a lot of peace of mind for those, for those victims. Uh, as well as sometimes they give them out to seniors uh, because if you're a senior, the likelihood that you'll have some sort of emergency situation is greater and so it's good to have those phones that'll dial 911. So if you donate to programs like that, you have to make sure that it's a functional phone. You have to make sure that your phone is working you have to have a battery in that phone and you want to have all the chargers and all, all that equipment. And then you can, you can just donate it. In many cases, it's tax uh, deductible. If you want to donate at the city of Reno, uh, just go to the third floor and bring your phone and all the gear and leave your name so you can get that tax deductible donation. Uh, so what do you do if you have a phone? Let me find my pre's that don't work anymore. Um, you don't want to donate these because they're not going to be able to use them. You don't want to throw them away because there's hazardous materials and you don't want to put that in the environment. So what you can do is wait for an e-waste event. A lot of times they have those around the city. Uh, a lot of times it's hosted by the government where it's for all types of electronic waste and that way you can recycle it there. Uh, sometimes they recycle, sometimes they refurbish, but the point is it's going to the right place and it's not going in the environment. All right, so make sure to do that with your phones and let me know how many phones you have. And uh, also, that was actually a pretty short video, so I have a moment here to tell you about the GovGirl Fan Club. My niece, Aurora, would like to introduce uh, the GovGirl Fan Club, and she had this that she wanted to tell you guys, so here it is. I love GovGirl.com because it's funny and she really makes it creative. Now let's see a clip from one of my favorite videos. So if you would like to be a part of the GovGirl fan club, please let me know at govgirl.com. Right now I have one member. Uh, but if you do become a fan club member, don't do anything creepy, all right? The only people who can send me things that look like this are my nieces and nephews. So if you have the inclination to send something like this, ask yourself, am I Christie's niece? And if the answer is no, don't send it.
All right, that's it for this Gulf Girl episode. Uh, as always, please subscribe to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash govgirlblog. And don't forget to click the Ask Gov Girl button on govgirl.com and submit a question or a topic idea and we'll see what the online government community uh, has to say and what I have to say about it as well. All right, till next time. Bye-bye. Hello, I am sorry. My phone's ring, 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 gang. <laughs>